Hey yo, this isn't actually a part of the video. This is a 20 second snippet I'm gonna add before the video. I just wanted to add this part because I actually want to say if you guys are playing 2K18 this year and you're watching this, this video is about how to grind the badges. Literally like going to micro and how to grind Tyler score and everything. But honestly, I recommend personally just enjoy the game, have fun with it, play all the game modes, come to the team practice facility whenever you can and do the drills for the badges, okay? Over time, you'll build up to the highest tier and I'm just saying that's the funnest way to do it. The most boring way is to go into micro event and grind these badges. I mean, I also show the park method in this video, but like, the micro event methods are there so that you guys know. So that you guys know you can go to micro and get like 20,000 XP a game for these like Tyler score and stuff. But honestly, the best way is to just enjoy the game. I don't want all of y'all getting bored out of your mind trying to grind the badges. So I just want to add this in, man. The video is about to start. This is how to grind all the badges. Please leave a like if you enjoy. And yo, we are on that daily upload grind. So enjoy this one. And I will have another video right back for you guys tomorrow. Hey, what is that, YouTube? It's your boy Tarsino here. Now, today, I'm going to show you guys how to get all five shot creator badges on Hall of Fame the fastest possible way in NBA 2K18, okay? A lot of y'all have been asking how to get Tyler Score, Mid Range Deadeye, all these badges. These are the badges I have right here, man. I have got. Midrange Dead Eye Hall of Fame, Tyler Score, Ankle Breakers on Gold because I'm a pure shot creator. All goods though, I'm going to show you the fastest method to get it on Hall of Fame or Gold or whatever. Difficult Shots and Teardropper. Obviously, I also have all my other badges, but today we're just going to be focusing on these five shot creator ones. So, yo, check out the description. I'm going to put the timestamp for where each individual badge begins. So, just click on the timestamp to jump to whatever badge you need. And I'm also going to show the fastest method and the micro method, okay? I know a lot of y'all don't want to do the fastest method, which will be the park way, because a lot of y'all want to get your badges first and then go online which is all good you know people are different i personally just go to the park to get most of my badges but i'm also going to show you the micro way in case you want to get them offline then jump online so yo enjoy this video please leave a like if this helps you out and yo let's get straight into it so first off i'll start with the most important badge for shot creators man the difficult shots badge by far the fastest way to get this badge is to find a center and go play the 2v2 courts at the park literally get your center to set you some nice screens and all you got to do is go past the screen shoot either mid-range fadeaways step back spin jumpers or hop step jumpers they all count towards difficult shots now the reason you want to do this at the park is because the park gives you more xp per difficult shot than micro does and you get them up way faster in the park okay you just get way more shots up you get way more xp you get about 5,000 to 6,000 xp per park game for difficult shots alone okay literally moving shots counts for so much xp if you only shoot moving shots and if you make a high percentage of them so that's all you got to do man go to the park shoot heaps of moving shots check out my how to dominate as a shot creator video if you're unsure about how to shoot any of them literally i got the hall of fame difficult shots badge before i even hit 90 overall so it was so quick to me and i only was playing park back then man i didn't do any micro or anything i only played park i did although get the bronze difficult shots badge in my career i first got to bronze so that my guy wasn't a complete bum at the park so i am going to show you guys the my career method now this is for anyone who just wants to get that bronze badge or for anyone who doesn't want to play online right now until they get their badges which is all good man so this is the my career method for the difficult shots badge Okay, the my career method. This method is actually really simple. All you want to do is go into a my career game, take your player to the three-point line, then hold L1 or LB on Xbox to call for a screen. And then what you want to do is you want to do two simple dribble moves, and you're going to see why later, because this helps you to get the ankle breaker badge at the same time. You don't want to be doing this without doing this. Just do two simple dribble moves, which could be like two crossover, like just a crossover, crossover, between the leg, between the leg, behind the back, behind the back, whatever. Just do anything simple. And then all you got to do is fake the screen and go to the other side of it and just shoot a mid-range jumper fading away okay do this every single time you will get a lot of xp towards moving shots you do not get as much as you do in park because park they they multiply it because it's online competition i think you get like i don't know how much more extra but you get a few hundred extra per moving shot in the park compared to compared to my career so you so i'd still recommend the park but if you guys want to do it the my career way and especially if you just want to get the bronze difficult shots badge first before you go to the park do it in my career just go to my career core screens fake the screen go mid-range shoot moving jumpers and y'all you will get difficult shots in no time i uh, wish you the best of luck with that y'all the ankle breaker badge once again the fastest way to get this is to play at the park with a center okay 
simply go to the twos court again and then all you want to do this time is you want to have a double move to score okay every single double move to score you get will count towards the ankle breaker badge at the end of the game it actually caused this uh it caused a dribble drive success but you don't actually have to drive to the hoop it's kind of misleading i don't know why they call it dribble drive it's really just like a like a double move to score essentially so pretty much do two dribble moves anything you want you can just do two between the legs you can do two behind the back you can mix it up whatever you want to do and then go to the mid range you can use your center to get give you a screen go to the mid range after doing two dribble moves and shoot the ball okay if you make it uh you you get xp towards ankle breaker it's as simple as that it's a really simple badge to get contrary to, to belief some people seem to think you have to get ankle breakers to, to get progress to what you don't you don't okay uh, i know there's a few like people new to the game who think that you don't have to actually break people's ankles to get progress towards the badge all you have to do is do double move to scores so yeah man just uh two dribble moves go somewhere mid-range shoot the ball easy and then that, there you go it counts towards the badge you can also drive to the hoop obviously you don't have to stop mid-range so whatever you want to do guys that's how to get ankle breaker at the park but now the my career method so yo when it comes to the ankle breaker badge in my career it's literally the same explanation i gave in my difficult shots method for my career all you want to do is hold out one to call a screen and you want to fake the screen but before you fake the screen you want to chuck in two dribble moves so you want to double move to score that is how you get the ankle breaker it's very simple i recommend doing it in the park but of course if you want to do it in my career go ahead now for the teardropper badge this badge is definitely one of the funner badges to get and this one i would say not to limit yourself to my career to get this one man because this one is really simple you can just go to the park or the pro-am and you can use this a lot which you should be using a lot anyway because for shot creators the teardropper this year is absolutely nuts it goes in so much if it's not contested so yo i recommend going to the park for this one again the twos court with a center is always the best and then all you want to do is get your center to set you heaps of screens go to around the mid-range area pull back on the stick pull away from the hoop and shoot floaters all day man you get so much xp for the floaters teardropper is is so quick to get man it's so easy to hall of fame this badge and of course if you are grinding rep you will be in my career and you'll be shooting floaters because every rep method that's fast includes shooting floaters so either way man whether you do park or my career for this method you'll just be shooting floaters my recommended way is to do park or pro-am and just enjoy shooting floaters a lot they're really consistent it doesn't it doesn't um it doesn't alter your game in any bad way at all okay you're gonna be playing exactly the same you're gonna be playing good just add floaters into your game and you will get to hall of fame teardropper in no time but for all you guys who want to do it the my career way i am going to give you the my career me method right now here we go the my career method for floaters okay yo this is exactly the same as my how to rip up as a shot creator method pretty much so what you want to do is you want to hold out one to call a screen and you can either take the screen or you can fake it it's usually easier if you fake it especially if you're new to this so if you just hold out one you fake the screen go baseline and then get right inside the paint all right get right in there go right under the hoop and then pull back on the stick without holding r2 you you have to pull away from the hoop if you're on camera relative okay pull away from the hoop on camera relative don't hold r2 and you will shoot a floater in the paint go deep inside the paint every time before you shoot the floater it makes it a lot more consistent it goes in nearly every time even if there's a big man there you can go inside the paint pull back on the stick and most of the time the big man will pull away or he won't block it and it'll just go in so get right in there shoot heaps of floaters right next to the hoop man and you'll just get so much xp for that teardropper badge you don't get as much as park or prime let me tell you but you still get a lot and that's because my career they they, they just lower the xp per everything man everything gets lower compared to online play and since floaters are so easy Easy to do in the park i would highly recommend you just get this natural if you're grinding rep you're going to be doing this anyway so you're easily going to be getting the teardropper badge so yo good luck with that y'all okay now this is a badge that everyone is always asking me about okay i get so many messages every day yo tarsino how do you get tyler score okay i'm going to tell you how to get this this is one of the annoying ones just like mid-range did i and the reason it's annoying is because you can't get this one online you do not want to do this badge while playing prime or park Literally, if you try to get it while playing Park or Prime, or what you have to do is you have to make your player tired, and then you have to shoot shots, okay? That literally leads to disaster. You're going to miss so many shots because when you're tired, you just have a way lower window to hit greens. Unless you have the Tyler Score badge up there, okay? But you won't have it up there because you're trying to get that badge. So what you have to do is go to my career and hold R1 to call a screen. But this time, you want to stand behind the screen and you want to hold R2. And you want to flick your right stick left to right to get yourself tired, okay? You must be holding R2 because when you have turbo equipped, while you do dribble moves, you lose, you lose energy a lot faster. So you'll get tired real quick. And then when you're tired, this is the tough part. You have to either make a jumper at the mid-range, which can be tough if you don't have the badge. 
or you can try and drive to the hoop and get a bucket okay you have to score somehow after getting tired that is all up to your skill level all up to how the defense is playing you man my recommended method is either going deep inside the paint to try and get a floater or just shooting a wide open jumper so to get this badge you need to you need to do you need to hold r2 do dribble moves get tired then go to the hoop finish the bucket somehow and yo that's all i can say for this one man best of luck i recommend letting this one come naturally but if y'all want to try and force it and get it i didn't i didn't force this one by the way i let it come naturally i just got it over time like naturally you shoot shots when you're tired that's how it is the bar has to be flashing red when you shoot it y'all or it doesn't count okay now though of course the easiest way probably since this is pretty tough is to just do the drill so if you can't do this way man just go and do the drill after each my career game that is all i can say for the tyler score badge y'all Now, finally, mid-range Deadeye. Oh, man, this badge is pretty much one of the stupidest badges to get in the game, man. The way they make you earn it is so repetitively boring. I just, it's so lame. You can't even earn this naturally online, seriously. It's so slow to earn naturally that you have to force it. Okay, mid-range Deadeye, what they require you to do is shoot a standing heavily contested shot. For some weird reason, if you shoot a moving heavily contested shot, they just don't count towards the badge. Like, I've tried so much, I don't know if 2K has ever patched it in recently, but I was shooting moving heavily contested, they never counted. So you have to shoot move it, uh, you have to shoot standing heavily contested shots in the mid-range area, and they have to go in. Oh man, this was a headache of a badge to get. You can't do this in the park, I'm being straight up, you're just going to lose all your games. You can't do it in the pro-am, you're going to lose all your games, it's stupid. You have to go to my career and stand in front of the opponent and shoot a heavily contested standing shot yeah that's how stupid it is y'all so yo what i recommend for mid-range did i is using the drills play my career games maybe play a few every day and then after the my career games just go and do the do the mid-range did i drill right keep doing that drill and get your mic get your mid-range did i xp up that's what i did while i was grinding to 99 i just went after each my career game and did the mid-range did i drill there's literally no faster way to get this unless you're being inefficient which means going to micro and just shooting mid-range jumpers all game. That's really inefficient though, because like literally you're getting less, you're getting such low XP, you're having no fun. Just enjoy the game, enjoy the grind. You don't want to bore yourself out with that. There's no rush to get it. Silver mid-range did I to me felt exactly the same as Hall of Fame. Okay, if if I was lightly contested or if they were a late contest, I was already making it on silver. I did not feel much difference at all on Hall of Fame. So don't feel too pressured to get mid-range did I. I'll just uh, get it over time. And yo, good luck with that, man. That is by far the most annoying badge. So yeah, there you guys have it. That is how to get all the shot creator badges in NBA 2K18. I hope this video helps you out. All my fellow shot creators out there, I hope this helps you get whatever badge you need to get. Those are literally the fastest ways, okay? I literally know, I've, I've tried everything, okay? There's no faster way. Midrange Deadeye is literally that slow. There's no faster way to get it. It's either drills or go to my career if you really want to and shoot in front of everyone's face. You could do that in the path, but you'd just lose all your games and stuff. It'd be an absolute mess. So midrange Deadeye, just chill with it. Do it over time. Don't rush it, okay? Really, most of these badges you get them on silver they're pretty much the same as hall of fame i'm not even kidding like literally i was playing the same way when i was silver versus hall of fame with most of these badges so don't stress badges too much just get it at least the silver or gold and then hall of fame just work your way up to it man so yeah, i wish you guys the best of luck you've been watching tarsino live love and laugh take care of yourselves peace out